All right, welcome to Vinny Melkis Outdoors. I'm driving again, as you, per usual. Um, so today I'm gonna give another tip, and it has it has to do with one of my favorite. It's my favorite winter lure and early spring, or just offshore lure. Period. Well, it's just one of my favorite lures. I, I like it, and it's like one of the simplest lures. It is a just you know a stamp piece of metal and a little painting and a couple of treble hooks. It's a blade bait. You've seen me run a blade bait a number of times on this uh, fishing on this channel. I talk about it a lot. And today the tip is about fishing it on, well, how to not snag your line up on the blade bait as much as you normally do. Especially when you're using a smaller version and on a spinning rod and you're vertical jigging. Especially when you're vertical jigging. I guess it doesn't really matter what, what rod, uh, whether it's a casting or spinning rod. But when you're vertical jigging a blade bait, sorry, I'm driving and holding this and just kind of driving it in backwards. But you're, you tend to get that back treble hook caught on your line and it just fouls up everything. I think my last, one of my last fishing videos, uh, you could see that, or I, I might've talked to her, maybe I edited it out, but it, there was a time I was like, all right, I'm not even gonna, uh, I'm not gonna do this tip that I'm gonna show you right now, but just cause I didn't have a whole lot of time as I keep fishing, but I kept, I should've just stopped, broke down and just fixed it and got it squared away so that I could actually fish. Uh, but it's super simple, really. You just gotta have two things. And what it is, is you're gonna replace that treble hook. I guess I'll just throw it out there. You're gonna replace that treble hook with a single hook. And um, and uh, granted, there are blade baits out there that have that miniature frog hook. Because, and those are pretty awesome. But they have a little bit, uh, the hookup on those is, is slightly less than with the treble hook version or the ones where you have an actual um, split ring in there. So anyway, I keep going on these rabbit holes. So what you do is you, you take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you here in a second, we'll display it. You're gonna take a, I prefer the Gamagatsu drop shot hook, which I normally use for drop shot fishing. Um, of course I use a really small one, but you can get, you know, a number two or something like that or one depending on the size of your blade bait. And then you get a split ring, you know, a small split ring. And you should already have a split ring on there with your treble hook. And you're gonna use those two things and you're gonna create uh, another um, avenue or another, you're gonna replace that back treble hook with that, that drop shot hook. And you'd be surprised at how much more fishing time you're gonna get with that. And you still get good hookups. That hook is amazing. It does its job. Um, don't have any issues with it does, and it doesn't hinder the bait um, whatsoever. In fact, you might hook up less when it comes to like fishing around brush too, or cages, um, or docks, or wherever you're fishing this thing at. But what it does is it allows you to fish longer without hooking up your back line. But anyway, I'm gonna show you right here. This is how you do it, and I'm gonna give you a, a good look at it. Uh, here we go. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> and for the, per uh, this is a Dyna Response. I don't know, I was about ready to say something else, but this is a Dyna Response by Mega Bass. And this is a quarter ounce, and I throw this on my spinning rods a lot. Um, even the larger versions, I throw it vertical jigging with a spinning rod. And I've gone into other videos why I do that. Um, and then when I'm just casting around, I'll use the larger version, or even this on a finesse um, bait caster. But anyway, so one of the things that happens with this is that back hook always hooks your line, runs a lot of casts, especially when you're vertical jigging, because the bait is weight forward. So it goes like this, and you tend to hook around your line constantly. And it also hooks in other things. So we're gonna replace this back hook with a, like a drop shot or a wacky style hook. Now, this one's a little large for this bait. I'm just doing it so you can actually see it. Same with this split ring. Split ring's a little large for the bait that I normally would use. I'd you know, use a number two or number four uh, drop shot hook and a real small uh, split ring that's like already on here. You need two of them. Otherwise, this hook is gonna, if you just threw it on here like this, Unless you can get one with a um, parallel running eyelet or an eyelet that's, you know, uh, I mean, vertical as opposed to horizontal, then you need to use two split rings. Otherwise, it's going to lay off to one side. Maybe that's cool with you. I don't know. Uh, I like my hooks to be um, running along the same lines as the bait. So uh, the first thing I do if I can do this now on camera, is I put the hook on this other split ring. 
or if it's real small and it's hard to mess with, I mean, the big ones, I like to do it this first, but on the smaller ones, sometimes using the smaller split, split ring, you just go and put it on that one and then put the hook on. But, uh, but in this case, just so you see what I'm doing here, how will still a good hook. This is a Gamagatsu, by the way, Gamagatsu split shot drop shot hook, which I use, uh, for drop shotting. I mean, the smaller ones are awesome. So you run that in there. You get that kind of started. Same thing here. You, I already got this one. You, these these little split rings are easy just to put your fingernail in there and get them going. So where where are we at? So I can get make sure that I do this the correct way. Take that little thing off. I put that somewhere where you can keep it because there's a lot of open water situations that uh, that having that on here it really does it, it, is more advantageous than the single hook, but when you're vertical jigging or around a lot of trees, this uh, setup here that I'm showing you, I don't know what I'm doing there, really helps out. So um, in that case, then you're just gonna thread this baby right on the old split ring, if you can get it in there, and uh, do it the correct way so that uh, so the hook is, uh, is going to face the proper direction. That always helps too. Um, and I don't do this every day, so like I said on the last video uh, where I was out fishing, I should have done this. I should have taken the time and just sat down and did this, and it would have saved me. You probably got a lot more footage, a lot, a lot less footage of me uh, being uh, upset. I guess I ought to just run this through. See, this one, too, like you'll notice that this split ring's a little bit bigger, so there's not a whole lot of free-flowing action on the hook. Use the proper split ring. It should just, you know, you want it to rotate like it normally would. And I guess this wouldn't be so bad. In fact, maybe this will actually work out if you, if you did it that way where it's uh, stuck there so you don't get hooked on your line. It might actually help you out a little bit more. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really tried. Usually I'm using a, the free-flowing hook I guess you'd say look that's more free-flowing if I can get this on here well I got it backwards of course I did when you do that it's simple as just grabbing the hook and doing it the reverse way that's okay of course when you get on camera this is what happens stuff never works out the way it's supposed to you see how hard it is with this bigger one you'd think well you go smaller it's gonna be a lot harder now when you get to the smaller ones like these little guys, it's actually a lot easier because you just they they're easier to split with your thumb thumbnail. All right, there you go. So you have your double split ring in this hook here, and granted, this hook's a little bit bigger than I would normally use for this size, but even so, it's a lot harder for it to hook up there uh, on your line. It doesn't it doesn't uh, decrease your hookup ratio on fish. In fact, uh, I think this is a little better. You've seen the like I said I mentioned before the frog small frog hooks. They your hookup de hookup ratio decreases slightly with those for some reason. Uh, maybe just the fixed nature of them. But this um, keeps your hookup ratio up, and you don't snag your line as much. And these are good hooks too, just in general. Um, but that's how it's done. Like I said, you'd use a smaller hook on this might this setup right here with these two might, you know, for the larger ones uh, work out well. Otherwise, I'm dropping down to a number two and a number four for this one and then a smaller split ring. But that's how I, I want to say fix, but that's how I rig up this to get, you know, snagged less and to, uh, and just make more effective casts because what happens, not just snagging in the bushes or whatever, but you know, the treble hook just gets finangled on this th line and you're just constantly, and you can feel it when you're, when you're popping and drop, popping and dropping it up. I mean, this thing gets hooked up and you can tell a difference in, uh, in the action of the bait, but there you go.